What's up, guys? I see people complain all too often about their poor Wi-Fi on their Unify access points. So quick tips, what I do here. On the bottom left, you'll see this little circle here for um, the devices. You're going to click on each of the devices you want to um, look at and go to configure on top right. Go down to radios and here on radio 5G, to ch click on channel. And you want to set VHT to 80 um, by default is 40 because I think some are old, old devices don't support the higher channel bandwidth. And then on the left hand side, DFS, you don't really have to worry about this, but um, you know, if you really wanted to, you could play around with the channel here. So to do this, go to acrylicwifi.com. It's Windows only software, but as you can see, it basically shows you all the channels that each Wi-Fi network is using. So if yours overlaps someone else, you can basically choose the other network. But uh, yeah, we're also gonna show you a quick tip on how to separate the, the networks, so 2.4 and 5. The reason why is because you can see this is 2.4 gigahertz. It's very congested and old and slow. So I like to push as many devices as I can to five gigahertz. And the best way of doing that is to have two separate Wi-Fi networks. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. Okay, so if you your AP is tied to a controller, I can't really do it from the apps. You have to go down to here to settings, go to Wi-Fi. And for this, I basically have two separate Wi-Fi network names. So for instance, this is fast. I just click on edit here and uh, scroll down to advanced. And this is where I select the band. So each network is tied to a specific uh, Wi-Fi band, basically. Now, if your device is set up as standalone, you're gonna tap here, gonna go to configure, go to radios, and uh, this is where you will set it. It looks a little different from uh, this point of view, but go to WLANs, and here's where you can basically rename the 5 gigahertz. This is where I prefer to have a separate name.